We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Ought to be a good one here between the Houston Astros and the Oakland A's. Coming to the plate now, Michael Brantley. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Set to deal on two and two. Liner towards second. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. Static second. The third base of the two. Alex Bregman. At the plate now, Alex Bregman. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. His career numbers against Manaya comes in with six hits in 20 at bats. And of those hits, three of them were of the home run variety. Here now the 2 2. And another foul ball. After fouling off the second one, I got to step out of the box, adjust my batting gloves, and tell myself there's no chance he's tripling up on that pitch. Another one sent foul. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Drives it out to deep right center field. Loriano will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Has a look, now the pitch. Ooh, that's a good pitch to take a hack at right there. Change up, up of the zone. Eh, he'd like to have that one back. Skied into straightaway right. The Scotty's there for it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Next up for the Strohs, Jordan Alvarez. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. The 3 1. Back up the middle. Oh, what a dive. Hats off to that one. And that'll bring in Ramon Laureano. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. A little bit outside. 2-1. and one. Lifted in the air out towards left center. On the move is Springer. He can't get there as it falls in. In now, Tony Kemp. And that misses two and one. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Springer has a read on it, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Next up for the A's, Marcus Semyon. First chance for him here with a runner at first and one gone. Two balls and a strike. As a veteran out on the mound, that's a pitch that you expect to get a call on. Got to believe he keeps pounding that spot until he builds a rapport with the umpire. Three and one to him now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. High in the air out to center field. There to play it is Springer, and that's out number two. So here's the Oakland cleanup batter, Matt Olson. The first baseman. Matt. Runner goes. Frozen on strike three for the final out of the inning.
Second inning set to go. Striding in for Houston, Carlos Correa. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Line, but speared on a hop. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that brings in George Springer. The 1 1 home is taken for ball two. Two ball, one strike. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's three and one. Due next is Josh Reddick as he gets ready in the on deck circle. Now a swing and a miss as he was trying to flick that one the other way, and it's a full count now, three and two. Man, that pitch had the look of a fastball. Straight changeup, the bottom fell out of it. And, whoa, awfully close, but it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. Springer stands at first with one out. And a half swing here, but he pretty clearly went around, and it's one and two now. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Grounded up the first baseline, but this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. Ball blew it right by him, and there are two down. So here's Yuli Guriel comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. He's set, and the 2 1 pitch. Hard liner to center field. Loriano will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. So now it's Mark Canna. He'll be the one to greet Justin Verlander to start the inning. Lays off the one two changeup and he's worked it back to two and two. Hit hard to the right. Foul. The two two one more time. Matt Chapman will be next. And he got him. So that brings up the always intense Matt Chapman. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. No contact there, and it's one and two. Two and two. And he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Chris Davis next to bat. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. All even now, two and two. Looking to set down the side on strikes. Here it comes. And just a masterful job of pitching here as he strikes out the side in order. Ready now, Martin Maldonado, and he'll start out their half of the third, top of the order to follow. Now the 2 1 pitch. You could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order loom. Full count now, three and two. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Hard on the ground towards short, and that'll get on through into left for a leadoff single. The left number 23, Michael Brantley. To the plate now, Michael Brantley. High in the air out to center field. 
Loriano will settle under it to make the play for the first down as the runner will have to head back to first. And that'll bring up the former first rounder, Alex Bregman. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. Now back. So up to the plate next will be Jose Altuve. 0 for 1 here in the early going. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Liner towards second. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. Into the box, Jordan Alvarez. Ball and two strikes now. Whoa, he was swinging out of his shoes on that changeup. Must have looked real good coming in, but a different story once it got near the plate. The count now at two and two. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Fielder Steven Piscotti the next to hit. He went deep in the contest last night. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And he fouls this one off. The 1-2. Misses for the second ball. No offer on that one, and Verlander's run at full now, three and two. It's been a great job so far by the eight-hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge inning. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. Into the box now, Austin Allen. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. On the ground is short. This could be two. The second for one. On to first, and they get them both. Striding in for Oakland, Ramon Laureano. Bottom of inning number three. Nothing, nothing our score. It's two and one to the A's leadoff batter. Sliced hard on the ground. Altuve fields it cleanly. On to the first baseman, Guriel, and that will end the inning. All set for the start of the fourth. Striding into the box, Carlos Correa. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. To the left side, but it's well foul. The next one-two pitch. Great job to lay off that pitch after fouling off so many previous to it. I got to believe that pitchers certainly get frustrated in these types of at-bats. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Just out in front of that one. Still two and two. Pitch on the way. Swing line drive. That's going to be trouble. Around first. He's digging for second. And the Astros get something started right away. It's a leadoff double. The center fielder, number four, George Taylor. So now to the plate, George Springer fouled away. Payoff pitch one more time. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. He'll try it again, three and two. Line drive snagged on a short hop. Throw just in time as they get him by an eyelash. So here's Josh Reddick. 
threat to the outfield. The pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Line towards center field. That's in there. Base hit. The throw is wild and it gets away. And he is in to score from second as the throwing mistake defensively came back to factor into that one. The first base number 10. And the FD. Standing in now, Yuli Uriel. A ball and two strikes now. One run, five hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. And this runs inside, and that looked like it got him pretty good. Digging in for his second at bat, okay. Martin Maldonado. He reached on a single in his first try. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. The one two. Swing and a little blooper to center. Center fielder coming on. He can't get to it. This one's down. And that's the second out. Here's Michael Brantley. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Michael Brantley. Here's the 2 1. Hard on the ground towards short. And that's through into left field for a base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. The third baseman, number two, Alex Bregman. Stepping in now, Alex Bregman. Shin high. That's taken for a ball. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. On a line, that's a base hit. And they'll quickly get it in here to hold that runner at third base. Into the box now, Jose Altuve. Two balls and a strike to Jose Altuve. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Got him. So the damage winds up not being as bad as it could have been as they'll strand the bases loaded. This side is retired. At the plate, Tony Kemp comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Three. three and one. Taken, but that catches the inside part of the plate. The three-two pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Therefore, it is Springer, and he's got it for the first down. Digging in, Marcus Semien flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. The 1-1 one -one. takes a pitch for strike number two. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. The one two. Misses ball oh. two. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there really battles doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder always seems to make it difficult oh, yeah. on the opposing pitcher three and two now. Skied into straightaway right. On the move is Reddick. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Two away now in the Oakland fourth. And that brings in the big power hitting first baseman, Matt Olson. Verlander into his motion. 2 2 on its way. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Again, he sends it out of play. 
You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. The 2 2 one more time. It's laid off, and the count runs full. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. 2 2 count, and he just seems to keep hanging right in there. Swung on and hammered. No doubt about this one. Watch it fly. And gone. An absolute bomb. At the plate, Mark Canna starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. So here's the Astros cleanup hitter, Jordan Alvarez. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Here's the one and one delivery. Ball. Swung on but fouled off to the left. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. No. What a great battle to start this inning. What a great job by the leadoff hitter. He knows that this pitcher's starting to get up there in pitches. The manager's starting to get restless. Let's see if we can knock him out and get into that bullpen. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. The next 3-2. Full count still. The pitch. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Center fielder on the run. He's there and records the first down. Mike Fires will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Now to the plate, Carlos Correa. He came across to score after doubling in his last at bat. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And it'll fade just at the end and winds up a long foul ball. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. Now back. George Springer, the next to hit. George Springer. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. Chapman has a play. He's got it, and there are two down now. So two are gone for the Astros in the now fifth, that and that brings up the former Gold Glover, Josh, Josh Reddick. Reddick. The one two. Fouled off. Fifth inning, two to one our score. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. Now another one two. Pull the string on a good change up there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. Striding in once again, Matt Chapman. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there, north of seven, eight pitch ABs. 
Sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. And here's a ball hit in the air. And no one will track it down. The one two. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Springer has a read on it. And that's the second out of the inning. Stepping into okay. the box, Stephen Piscotti. The he drew a walk his first time up. Verlander's ready. He'll try to put him away here on two and two. Popped him up. Guriel has it, and the side is retired. Now the Cuban import, Yuli Guriel. The 1-1 one, one home. Ball. 2-1. Could take there to lay off the high fastball. Well, that's ball three, and the Astros right now would do anything to get this leadoff hitter on. 3 1 pitch is a slider, and he can't pull the trigger. It's three and two now. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. Now, now at the plate, Martin Maldonado. He's one for two in the ball game. One one. No, that's sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. A two and two count to the Astros catcher. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. No. Fastball didn't miss by okay. much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. Payoff pitch home. Line towards center field. Loriano is there, and he has it for the first down. And here's the left-handed hitting Michael Brantley. Michael Brantley. Outside with the fastball as the count moves to two and one now. He's running. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. Low scoring game thus far, two to one here in the sixth. Late on that one is it's fouled off to the left side. Ready with another two two. Into center field, line drive, base hit. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. The third baseman of the two, Alex Bregman. Into the box, Alex Bregman. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. It's fouled away. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. And this one's in the dirt. Runners will hold tight, but it's a full count now. Three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Line drive base hit. Guriel. Rounds the corner and is headed home. Safe at the plate. And they now lead by two. Now back, second base, Jose Altuve. To the plate now, Jose Altuve. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Ball. 
For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. And he popped him up back into foul territory behind first. But this will land untouched. And he fouls this one off. Hard on the ground towards short. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. Now back, designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. So now to the plate, Jordan Alvarez. Fastball, close, but he didn't get it, two and one. Tough one to call there, but it's ruled just above the zone. Hey, the bullpen needs to step up in this situation. I got to believe the manager was hoping for way more than this. The 3-1. Love the fact the pitcher challenged him in that spot right there. Didn't love the location. But I got to be honest with you, I think he's got him on his heels right now. Don't be shocked if he attacks his zone again. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Four runs, ten hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. Up high, two and one now. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. Ball even at two and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Pretty well hit. Deep down the line in right, but that's back into the seats. Foul. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Now at the plate, Austin Allen. He'll get things started here in the second half of the sixth. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Now a little dribbler here off to the right side of the mound. And there's one down now. So the Oakland lineup turns over and to the plate, Ramon Laureano. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. One and two as he chases the slider. Wow, that was an ugly swing right there. And that tells us all we need to know. Nobody's picking the baseball up off this guy. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone. And there are two gone. Second baseman, Tony. In front of the change up there is this is chopped foul at home plate. All over that one, but a little out in front. Foul ball. Here's another 2-2. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on 2-2, two and two, but when you launch a ball that high out of the strike... And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. J.B. Wendelkin is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 57. Here's George Springer. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Oh, and he took something off of it there. It's one and two. Wendelkin is exactly what you want out of a bullpen arm. It's a rare occasion that anyone squares him up. He doesn't give up a lot of hits, and when he does, they're almost always kept in the yard. Matty V, there are two keys to being a good relief pitcher, and always remember these. One, limit the base on balls. Two, keep the ball in the ballpark. You can't defend a walk, and you can't defend a round tripper, and he does both. The 1-1 one, one home. Thank you. Two, 
rolled slowly down the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Reddick waiting, and now the pitch. Down is full. Three ball. Yuli Gurriel waits on deck. him up Olsen is over and he tucks it away for the second out stepping in Yuli Gurriel he's been hit by a pitch and walked in the game thus far the 1-1 one -one. waves and misses for strike number two we're in the seventh now four to one our score to this point Fouled away. Ball two. Fouled off. A hey, last two pitches back to back off speed then he's late on the fastball he could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound two two pitches fouled away locked in a good battle here comes another one. Hey, this has been an epic at bat right here. I don't blame the pitcher for a little nibbling right there. Maybe get a swing and a miss. He didn't bite on that one, so now we go full count. Heading after it is Piscotti. Reaches out. Oh, no, he dropped it. And this throw gets away from him. Settling in now, Martin Maldonado. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Maldonado. Stand alive, putting together a really good at bat here. And it's fouled away. Dirt and now let's see. Throw goes over to third, and it's too late as he's in there. The 2 2 drives it out to deep right center field. Long run for the center fielder. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. For the traditional Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Into the box now, Marcus Semyon. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Line drive to left. Brentley is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first out. Ready for another shot now. Matt Olson. He went deep last time up. We all know this guy's a real good fastball hitter. We saw how far he could hit one. He got a fastball that he liked, and he turned that thing around, and it got out of here in a hurry. The one-two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. To the plate now is the designated hitter, now Mark Canna. No the hits for him to hitter. this point, not unlike many of his fellow teammates. The bouncer to the left side. That's through, and he's got his first base hit. He's one for three. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Lou Trevino will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Standing in now, Michael Brantley. And it's two balls and two strikes now. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And there's your first out of the inning. 
ready once again Alex Bregman he came through with an Alex. RBI single in his last at bat. Now the three and two pitch hit hard up the middle and that gets through for a one out base hit. Bob the throw pulls him off the bag. Now batting the second baseman Jose Altuve. Stepping in now Jose Altuve. Two one pitch is a cut fastball taken for strike two. That's taken high for a ball. It's full now. Three and two. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. Jordan Alvarez. In there, two and two. Tried to get him with the cutter, but it's a full count, three and two. That's a good pitch to lay off right there, that cutter inside. And that is a real tough pitch for hitters to lay off of. And a lot of times, if you do swing at that cutter in, you're going to end up with some firewood in a broken bat. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Count remains full. a shot to right field and that's going to be in for a base hit. Bregman rounds third and is digging for the plate and he's safe at the plate as they stretch the lead to 5-1. The bat number one. Shortstop Carlos Correa. Into the box now. Carlos Correa. And able to lay off the fastball away here. 2-1 and one now. Weak grounder down the first baseline. And indeed, he'll take only the out at first as the run comes in to score. So two gone now in the Houston eighth. And former World Series MVP George Springer bats next. Now the one and one pitch is laid off for ball two. He's fallen behind now, three and one. It's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there. Pretty much unable to hit any of his spots. And now he's at three and one, and he's put him into another great hitting count. Popped him up. Allen is under it. And that retires the side. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Matt Chapman. Third trip to the plate for him here. He struck out and grounded out in his first two tries. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle. It's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. No offer on that one. And Verlander's run at full now. Three and two. This is hit high and deep out to left. Brantley going back at the track. The wall. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. Chris Davinsky is on the pitch here in the eighth with nobody out. Number 47. Chris Davinsky. Into the box, Chris Davis. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. So that'll bring up Steven Piscotti. In his last at bat, he popped out in foul ground. Yeah, but everything looked clean. He was on time. He looked powerful in the box. I guarantee you he wants that swing back. He's still thinking about it as he walks to the plate right here. And this one's low here, so the count swells to three and one. And he 
fouls this one off. One out, nobody on. Hit the other way out toward right field. Reddick has a read on it. And that's the second out of the inning. Stepping up now, Austin Allen. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Two out, nobody on. Left side, but well foul. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Back goes Reddick, and that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. At the plate, Ramon Laureano. Called strike two. Well, this one's been a bit of a head scratcher despite their home run production today. Yeah, Matty V, this is one of those that you kind of scratch your head and you go, wow, you hit the hot shot to first base and a great play to end the inning. Here's Meryl Petit, and her from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Now with the play, Josh Reddick. In his last at-bat, he popped out in foul ground. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop-up foul. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. Fouled away. The 2-2. Two -two. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. So stepping in, Yuli Gurriel. He comes into this at bat 0 for 2 with the hit by pitch. Now the payoff pitch home gets him looking up around the letters. At the plate, Martin Maldonado. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a 1 for 4 day. Maldonado. Maldonado behind a ball and two strikes. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Hit on the ground out to short. Taken in by Simeon. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Roberto Ozuna enters the game to finish this one off here in the bottom of the ninth. Number 54, Roberto. Ball set for the bottom of the ninth. Stepping in now, the speedy Tony Kemp. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Hey, not impossible, but highly improbable. Even when you're at home to score three runs off a closer like this guy, they've got the work cut out for him. A swing, and this ball is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to keep this one in the ballpark. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. So now to the plate, Marcus Simeon. Two and one. Two and two. Two ball, two strike. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Now batter. And that'll bring up Matt Olson. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, kind of shocked. He got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. 
Now the A's designated hitter, Mark Canna. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, that's not exactly how you draw it up. He gave up a long ball to make it interesting, but it was the only run he gave up, and he hangs on to collect the save. A 6-4 to four finish in tonight's affair. The Houston Astros took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Justin Verlander gets the win on the mound his first of the year. Roberto Ozuna records the save his first of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Fans are final line score tonight. First for the victorious Astros, six runs on 12 hits. No errors, they left 12 men on base. For the Athletics, four runs on six hits. Two errors, they left just one man on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 18 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.